Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. So in this video we are going to learn chapter 1.1 reaction rate specifically learning outcome G3. Okay. So that means uh, by the end of this video you should be able to determine the order of reaction involving single reactant by using linear graph method based on the integrated rate equation and rate law. Okay. So that's me. Kita akan plot graph linear graph pula kali ni. Okay, so linear graph method tips based on the integrated rate equation and rate law. Okay, so that's mean kita nak plot linear graph. Kita kena tengok integrated rate equation ataupun rate law punya equation lah. Okay, right. So, dekat sini saya ulang balik tips yang saya dah bagi dekat uh, video Half-Life. Okay, um, kalau kamu jumpa soalan, for example, the question ask you to prove that this reaction is a second order reaction by using graph. Okay, so... Dia tak cakap by using graph apa. Okay, so kalau soalan yang macam tu, you have to use linear graph. Okay, half-life graph hanya digunakan if the question asking for uh, half-life graph ataupun dia cakap specifically uh, graph of concentration versus time, baru buat half-life graph. Okay, please take note on that one. Okay, so let us start uh, with our example here. Okay, so over here, uh, dia bagi data time, okay, concentration of C4H6 and over here, dia dah tolong calculate dekat kamu 1 over C4H6 adalah these values here. Okay, and then dia kata the data in the table above were obtained from dimerization of 1,3-butadiene at 600 Kelvin. Okay, and then use the data above to plot a graph of 1 over concentration C4H6 against time. Okay, so... Clearly, this question asking for graph of 1 over C for H6 versus T. Okay, so that's me. Ini Y exists, ini X exists. Okay, so to speed things up, saya dah plot dah graph. Okay, I'm not going to teach you how to plot this graph because kamu tahu cara nak plot graph kan. Okay, kalau ini Y exists kamu, so plot lah. Okay, choose a suitable scale. Okay, and then uh, for your y axis is time, please make sure ada unit, okay, untuk dia punya axis, okay, and then uh, title. Okay, lepas tu saya dah plot dah semua nilai ni, okay, so these values yang dekat tepi-tepi ni semua saya dah plotkan dekat sini and saya dapat this straight line here. Okay, so settle for A. So next kita tengok B pula. Based on the graph, determine the reaction order and explain your answer. Okay, so dia suruh kita tengok graph. Lepas tu determine order of reaction. Okay, so bila saya tengok this graph, saya tengok dekat sini lah. Okay, so bila formula dia 1 over something, itu adalah formula untuk integrated rate equation yang second order. Sebab kalau kamu refer balik kepada formula integrated, kalau ln dia first order, kalau... Uh, Second order, dia ada one over something. So, saya agak-agak this graph will be second order lah. Okay, and then saya pun uh, fikirkan lah. Saya suaikan dengan integrated rate equation. Okay, so kita boleh tengok lah. Kalau ini jadi y axis kita. So, ini adalah kita punya x axis kita adalah t. So, kita punya intercept adalah one over a naught. Okay, so gradient kita m kita adalah nilai k yang positif. So, graf kita akan naik atas. So, betul lah. Okay, so saya jawab sini. This is second order reaction. This is because the plot of 1 over C4 H6 versus time produce a straight line. And this is agreed, okay, with the integrated rate equation of the second order reaction. Okay, so kini graf yang kita dapat straight line ni sama macam yang dalam second order punya integrated rate equation. Okay, so itu sahaja untuk B1. Okay, for B2 pula, the value of the rate constant K disuruh kita carilah. Okay, so dekat sini, dia suruh kita cari from the graph. Okay, so kita dah tahu dah daripada tadi. Okay, so ini Y equals to MX plus C. Okay, so kita tahulah kita punya M kita, gradient kita adalah nilai K. So, maksudnya kalau nak cari K from the graph, you have to determine the gradient from the graph. Okay, so cari gradient, then you will get Okay. okay, so if any of you dah lupa macam mana nak cari gradient of the graph, okay, so kita carilah mana-mana titik, okay, and then kita uh, keluarkan nilai dekat titik tersebut, okay, and then uh, ambillah y2 minus y1 
over x2 minus x1 Okay so saya dah labelkan saya punya nilai x and y Okay so bila saya kira k saya dapat 0.87 And don't forget rate constant ada unit And since this is second order so the unit should be per molar per minute Okay so kena suaikan dengan keadaan lah Kalau ke dalam keadaan ni minute so dia jadi per molar per minute Okay, sini betulkan jadi per molar per minit. Okay, so basically kita dah siap okay, untuk linear graph method. Okay, so itu sahaja cara dia sama aja plot graph and ikutlah arahan apa yang dia nak daripada graph tersebut. Okay, so I think that is all for this video. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.